Good morning. I'm just looking at one of these boards and notice how to teach components stay on. Well, today I am presenting how to populate and solder on a PCB, also known as a person circuit board. <coughs> the tool that I'll be using today is the scale, the component vendor, the cutter, the third hand, a few extractors, and a soldering iron. The first step when it comes to <coughs> when it comes to soldering is to make sure everything is safe and functional. So right now I'm going to put my safety glasses on and make sure my soldering iron is nice and warm and my extractor is on. Now here is the package before anything is built. <coughs> we have to pour out all the components and lay them out orally, painted orally. This is the first oh, this is the printed circuit board before anything is on it. <coughs> to put something on it, you take your scale in tenth of an inch and measure between two <coughs> holes of the PCB. Once you have your measurement, you take a component and do the uh, component vendor and match it to the hole that you're using. You bend the leads and slide them in easily to the board. As this. <coughs> now when it comes to soldering, there's four steps that must be taken before you even solder. First, you have to clean the tip of the soldering iron with 180 degree turns to cover all sides of the soldering tip. Next is wetting the tip so, so, so you can solder and make sure it goes freely onto the soldering iron. Make sure you do an instant fuel shot there so none of the <coughs> fumes go up into the air. When you're done with that, you apply it, you apply it to the joint of where you want to solder and apply solder and bump and show off. Now, right now, I'm going to measure two, hole, two holes from a, in the PCB, and it's uh, four tenths of an inch. So I take my component bender with my resistor and put it in and bend my leads. <clears throat> you slide it in all in the same direction so it looks all neat and presentable. Once the leads are inside, you want to bend the leads so they won't move out of place until you get your job <clears throat> Now before I do my four steps, which is cleaning 180 degrees, taking my solder, <clears throat> wetting it, and gently touching the joint of where I want to apply solder. And I apply solder, I bump the edge off. Now I'm going to do the same process with the other way. Clean, wet, eat, apply solder, and bump. Once you're done applying solder, you take the clippers and cut the weeds off that are not necessary anymore. You know you did, you'll know that you did a good job soldering if your solder isn't uh, in the shape of a nice volcano and there's no holes inside it. <clears throat> when the project is done, all the components will be in place, the battery, the speaker, and once the battery is in, it should <clears throat> light up the LED and make the speaker beep as such. To recap, you use a scale to measure the holes in between in the PCB to get a perfect fit for your components. Uh, then you take the component vendor and bend the components to make a perfect fit in the PCB. Then you use a uh, four step, which is clean white heat bump, to apply the solder, and your component will be complete. The reason why I chose this is because I always saw these boards and I wanted to know how they worked and how they functioned correctly and so on the outside. This is my job to have this demonstration. <coughs>